Who would you say out of the candidates right now is making uh, the strongest impression uh, in Tata Steel? But but does it? I mean, does it really matter? Because like, when I won the candidates in 2018, I had a miserable Tata like minus three. Terrible. Yeah. When, when Karyakin won the candidates in 2016, he had a miserable Tata. I, I don't know exactly with minus three or minus four. And when Jan won in 2022, he had a miserable um, Bucharest tournament, minus one or minus two, I forget. And even when and Ding won, last year, right? Ding didn't have a great Tata Steel and then went on to win the World Championship, the candidates and the World Championship match. Not the candidates. <laughs> okay, Ding. <laughs> yeah, Ding, I, I mean, looking at Ding's chess in this tournament, it, it's obviously something's not quite right with his with his play. Yeah. Um, he he plays at a, at a level that is far below what I'm used to seeing from him, and he has for for quite a while, to be honest. Like, yeah. Um. So I, I mean, I hope he recovers at some point, but this tournament is not looking very good for him. He's minus two. Uh, his play today was was not good. Uh, he he won one good game against Gukesh, but besides that, it's actually been like all either uninspiring or just bad games yeah an uninspiring i think it's 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 a good word for it um i don't know it, it doesn't feel like he plays a tenacious uh, brand of chess uh, the type of chess that we've seen from him very very often um whenever he's at his best he's very very tenacious i just simply don't see that with thing right now um uh, but you know i mean all of these things can happen people can have you know, uh, difficult periods of time in their respective careers. But um, yeah, we're hoping to see Ding maybe play a little bit more, you know, because he hasn't been playing a lot. Um, I don't know if you can expect to just come back, play one, two tournaments per year, and then just do amazing in those one, two tournaments that you're playing. It just doesn't happen that way. And it seems to be the case with Ding uh, at the moment. But I, I have to say, like, ever since 2019, I actually consider... Like his play to have dropped off very significantly. Mm. This is purely not from a results point of view. Um, just like looking at his actual games very often. Uh, he, like in 2019, I feel like he was incredibly, incredibly strong. Yeah. Uh, and and he won the Grand Chess Tour. And okay, it wasn't like he was, um, uh, let's say, uh, head and shoulders above anyone else. But he was really strong at a period when it was pretty competitive. A lot of players were, were coming up. Mm -hmm. And that was the last time that I would say that he was like um, playing really strong brand of chess. Mm. P pretty much. Like he's, he's had some decent results. I mean, he did win a world championship match. But uh, I mean, if you look at the match, of course, it's, it's clear that neither player was. And this is taking in, like, I, I've. I understand the pressure that goes into it. This is taking into account the pressure and the stress, and we can't understand how difficult it is. Uh, it's it's obviously more difficult. Well, you can. Than, yeah, yeah, but still, it's like um, unless you're actually in there, you can't really speak for the players. Yeah, but you still expect them to maintain like a certain quality level, even when the stress is high. And if we look at what was it, game twelve, I think. Um, this is like a quality quality level which of, of the match. I mean, of the Ding Yan match. This is a quality level which you can't really expect from a classical chess game between players of that level. It's just maybe it happens like one once in a blue moon, but uh, but that was kind of like shocking quality. Mm -hmm. And okay, sometimes I play really shockingly bad games too, so I, I know how it is. Yeah. But um, but actually, that game was pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in terms of how bad it was, because of course, uh, both of these players will have like very different emotions coming out of the match, right? Yan and, and Ding. Yeah. And and you would think that for Ding it would be like an inspiring moment, but it doesn't seem to have been like getting getting the ultimate title in chess. Absolutely. It doesn't seem like it inspired him. Yeah. No, no. And I mean, it's a very good point because generally Magnus, for example, after a world championship match, he generally plays very, very well in the ensuing months. Combination of obvious confidence uh, boosting and then also the preparation that 
he has from that match. It doesn't seem to be happening with uh, Ding right now. Jan, on the other hand, as we've seen even today against Ding, he had some residual ideas, it seems like, from the match, this G4, in the game that I think they played in their last game during the World Championship match, um, in the same line, the same variation. So um, definitely showing something, some moments of inspiration.